starting the vlog in a very hot car right now. It's very hot. I've just finished work and you have no idea how excited I am for a day of tomorrow. And Hannah is back tomorrow as well, so she can help me with all the stress that I've had this week. I'm so, so excited for her to be back. You have no idea. I'm about to go home as well to go and see Chris because it, it is his birthday today and he's coming over. We're having a roast dinner. I'm like, mum, you're crazy to cook a roast dinner today because it's so hot. But whatever, so I'm not complaining about a roast dinner. So before I melt, shall we go home? All right, then. Let's go. It's the birthday boy! That's me! That's you! With his brownie cake because he doesn't have birthday cake, he always no. has brownie. It's tradition. Always have brownies, like brownie mix. Yeah. Because chocolate is better than everything else in the world. Mmm. Light candles, make a wish! <laughs> Woohoo! <Yeah. laughs> I'm the best sister in the world. What did I get you? Can you hear me? Me. Christopher! Hey there. Can you hear me? You're just ignoring me for the funsies. <laughs> That's so loud. I can't hear a word you're saying. Can you not? I don't think Not you a could. thing, not with music playing. Oh. Absolutely nothing. What did I get you? You got me. Take them off. <laughs> uh, the uh, Bose headset, Bluetooth wired headset. Because I am the most amazing hashtag person. Hashtag best sister ever. Ever in the whole entire world. Yeah, basically. <laughs> but the sound quality is incredible. The noise cancellation is incredible. You can just tune out from everything. So, yay. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, what's that bit? Not going. There we go. I'm always in a rush. I swear when I have plans to go out, I'm, I'm always running late. It's because I like funny about and do nothing. And I should be like putting clothes on or something. I don't know. Phone is on 95%. I'm leaving for, until I actually leave the house. Um, going to Lakeside today and going to Ikea with Chris, Danny and Megan, Danny's girlfriend. So... I need to go. I'm meant to be there for like 12. Although, there's no way Chris is going to be ready for 12, so I don't know why I'm rushing so much. But I've gone with this outfit. I don't feel particularly comfortable in it, but... Right, I think I'm ready. A massive eye bag under my eye. I have a message. How um, car keys? I need car keys. Phone in my butt. Pocket. Car keys. House keys are in my bag. Right, let's go. <laughs> did I turn my straighteners off? Yes, I did. Let's just turn my foot this it just in case because I'm paranoid cardigan just in case oh my goodness me seriously sunglasses in my bag right now I need to find my house key right ready to go I don't think I'm going to vlog anything while we're out um unless me and Chris kind of go off or something I don't know but um yeah I probably won't get the camera out but if I buy anything I'll show you later what I've bought oh this car is really hot Guys, I feel like I haven't spoken to you in so long. Literally, it's Wednesday night. I didn't vlog anything yesterday. And I haven't vlogged anything all day today. But I thought I would do a little, like, random haul in the middle of the vlog. Because I've actually bought myself quite a few things this month. Really bad. I know. But I felt like I deserved a few treats because everyone deserves a few treats. So I just did. <laughs> so I thought I would show you what I picked up over the last few weeks days few weeks few days few weeks they've arrived this week does that make sense okay i'll start with what i picked up with chris in lakeside on monday i went into victoria's secret this is literally all i bought i didn't buy anything else <laughs> there were some converse that i really wanted that i wanted last time and i tried them on but they didn't have my size basically i'm a three tiny feet and um, they only had a four and they were just a little bit too big so I can go over it but picked up some stuff in Victoria's Secret one of the things I've already worn um, and it was this little like romper little like romper to sleep in with lacy top and little lacy back it's so cute I absolutely love it it's so comfortable as well to sleep in you have no idea also I thought that would be really nice for like summer evenings if I'm just like wandering around the house and stuff it's really really comfy um so I picked that up I absolutely love it this color as well is currently an obsession of mine like a khaki type green I love it and then I also picked up 
a sports bra. Ta da! This is a really bad way to show it. Like this. I, I really like the front, like it's crisscrossy at the front. Love the pattern so much. Let's get a close up. Can we get a close up? How pretty is that? And then you've got the crisscross at the front. Lulu. <laughs> um, and then the back is just like normal kind of sports bra -y type back. Like that. Really cute. Again, really comfy and much more supportive than you think it would be. And this might be a bit weird, but I got the knickers to match as well. Just thought I'd show you those. So yeah, that's what I picked up in Victoria's Secret. That's all I got when I was in Lakeside. I know. Then I think the next thing was, I did a little order on Very. Very is my weakness, which you will know if you've watched the vlogs for a while, and I picked up a few things. This is the first time I've done an order on Very and kept everything that I ordered. Normally at least two things go back, at least. But I've kept everything this time, so I'll show you what I picked up. Firstly, I will show you this. Yes, I treated myself to my first pair of nights, and I'm literally obsessed. <gasps> Aren't they amazing? Literally love them to pieces. Love them so much. They're Nike Airs um, in the like baby pink and grey kind of pattern. They're so comfortable. I'm obsessed with these. I will not be using them to work out because I want them to stay this clean. Um, they're going to be like my fashion trainer. I've got some Adidas ones that I wear to work out in. Um, they're white for the reason. Who wears white trainers to work out in? Me, clearly. Then I picked up a dress. This I wasn't sure about this. It's kind of like a dress that's got cold shoulders. But it's literally just kind of like a throw on shift dress that's oversized. I'm never really sure about cold shoulders because I'm not a massive fan of the top of my arms. I just don't like them, don't know why. I just really don't. Um, they're something that I'm working on with my workouts and stuff. So I wasn't sure, but actually this looks really cute on. So yeah, I thought that would be really nice just to, as a throw on easy thing to wear when the weather gets hotter. Although it's been really warm here recently, so that's good. But I thought it would be just kind of like an easy throw on when you don't know what to wear, a little black dress sort of thing. Do you get me? I think you get me. I'm not sure what's going on with my hair today. I don't really care. Um, and then I also picked up a little sleep set from Boo Avenue, which I haven't actually bought from before. A lot of my friends have bought from Boo Avenue, but I haven't. Oh, we're all tangled. I'm very confused right now. Okay, there we go. Um, so it's just a little black, like, silky two-piece. You've got little shorts here, little silky shorts, cute, but the top is so cute. Look at this. Can you even see if I hold it closer? So you've got the lacing there and like little silk sequiny bits and then the back is a crossover like that with your lace there. So cute. But yeah, it's like a silky material. Again, really comfortable, perfect for like the hot weather to sleep in. There's also like lace trimming on the bottom. Hold on. This is really hard to show you. So you've got lace trimming along the bottom as well. Oh, I love it, it's so cute. If you remember in last week's vlog or the vlog before, I ordered the carbon cocoa, it arrived. I actually, it said it was gonna take like 25 days and I ordered it like two weeks ago, if that, and it's already here. So I've got the, um, carbon stuff in here like it's literally the finest powder so fine like this is not going to show up old-fashioned it's like <laughs> the finest powder ever now I don't know what to do with this you get a toothbrush with it as well that comes with it and the set that I got came with the activated charcoal did I say carbon? I definitely meant charcoal, toothpaste. And I'm actually really happy with this because it's spearmint flavour. I hate peppermint, small fact about me. The only time I have peppermint is in tea. I really like peppermint tea. But if you ask me if I want mint, I will always pick spearmint. And this toothpaste is spearmint. So, yes. And yes, this toothpaste is also black. I'm going to start trying this tonight. So I might, I might film my first attempt with it. 
I might. And maybe I'll film it and then decide whether or not to put it in. Then again, a few weeks ago, uh, if you remember before I went away, I went to a Stella and Dot party. So Stella and Dot is a like social networking kind of business. It's all online. Zoe has a little Stella and Dot party where you can go and see all the products. It's all jewelry. They do jewelry bags. I think they've got dresses. Um, amazing 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 stuff but they also have sunglasses and remember I said that I found a pair of sunglasses that I'm obsessed with that fit me perfectly everyone was like yes get them they've arrived firstly how cute is this sunglasses cup cup why was I gonna call it a cup who knows sunglasses case is what I was trying to say and then inside it says can you read it Hello sunshine, which I think is so cute. You get a little like cleaning silky cloth as well. And then these are my sunglasses. Oh, that was loud. They are mirrored, so you can see yourselves. They are kind of like a lilac-y colour on the top, going into like a lilac tortoise shell. I am in love with these. Oh my goodness me. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I've been wanting some sunglasses like this for ages and they kind of remind me a little bit of some Miu Miu ones that I wanted that I obviously cannot afford, they're way too expensive but I love these I will leave a link to Natasha Seller and Dot website down below so if you want to go and have a look on there um, look at all the jewellery pieces and everything like that then feel free to go and have a look yeah like there's so many beautiful pieces on there i've got such a wish list it's just these sunglasses were the only thing that i could really warrant buying because it hadn't been payday yet and i was like i can't i can't put anything else through um but yeah the sunglasses are actually really reasonably priced these were 115 which actually i don't think is that bad for sunglasses like you can pay way more than that for sunglasses and these are such good quality like they it sounds really weird but they feel like really good when they're on does that make any sense that probably doesn't make any sense but i'm so excited to wear these also i like how awkward people look when you're talking to them with mirrored sunglasses on because they actually look like they're talking to themselves always makes me chuckle <laughs> and then lastly remember that top i got from zara i exchanged it today so i picked up this top, just like a little basic, <coughs> my mouth is really dry, um, t-shirt, it was 4 99 literally super basic, I think it's navy blue and white stripe, but it kind of looks a bit black and white stripe, I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, I picked this up, but I picked this up because I wanted to wear it tucked into these, which I picked up, so they're just like slouchy, kind of relaxed i really like the waistband on these tailored trousers i've not had any trousers like this before and i've always wondered what they would be like they're kind of they kind of sit above the ankles so they're not full leg length um they've got pockets as well which makes me super happy because you know how much of a sucker i am for pockets i love pockets and yeah, I just thought these would be really nice that I could dress up, dress down with what, like, depending on what top I wear. So like a casual outfit with the shorts I thought would be kind of like a bit Frenchy. Um, and then I could dress it up with some like invisible heels and things. I think that would look really nice. Um, so I'm going to play around with these and see what I can do with them. I haven't actually tried them on yet. I got them in an extra small. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to be too small, but the small looked a bit big. Um, and if you know Cambridge Zara, you know there is literally no point of in queuing to try stuff on if you're on your lunch break because it's just not going to happen. So I literally just picked them up and exchanged straight away. But yeah, hopefully they will fit nicely and I'll have a nice pair of like casual smart trousers. Is that is that a weird thing to say? So when people are like, oh yeah, go smart cash and you're like, what the hell is smart cash? Like, what do I wear? These! This is what you wear. Lastly, I popped into Boots after I did that because I've got Boots points to spend. I picked up two more of these face masks because I love them. I'm obsessed. And I wanted to pick this up for so long and it was out of stock. It's the Garnier Skin Active Pure Active Intense Charcoal Anti-Blackhead Face Mask. I'm obsessed with charcoal at the moment. Can you tell? It's because it's an amazing thing. <laughs> yeah, so this is a wash, scrub and a mask all in one. It, it's charcoal and blueberry extract. It's for oily spot prone skin. I don't have oily 
skin but I definitely have spot prone skin especially at the moment um, so that's why I've got it because I really wanted to see if it works for me so you can either use it as a daily wash where you just put it on your face wash it off obviously that's how a wash works um, a scrub, use it every day, gently massage to exfoliate the skin. Or you can use it as a mask three times a week where you put it on, leave it on for five minutes and then wash it off. Which is probably what I'm going to use it for. Maybe the exfoliation as well. But I'm really looking forward to seeing if this works at all. I have high hopes for it. I feel like I shouldn't get my hopes up quite so much as I have. But hopefully it will work. So it's to purify, unclog pores, pores pause and mattify the skin so i'm excited to do this and this is only 4.99 which i don't think that that is that bad at all garnier Gar oh, goodness i cannot talk today at all garnier face like scrubs and masks and stuff that much because i can't actually remember i didn't look hello where even is my phone there i didn't i didn't even look at the other ones they're on three for two but there was nothing else that I wanted really and I didn't want to waste my boost points on things that I didn't want. I probably should have made the most of it but yeah so I picked that up. And that's everything that I've picked up or received, I ordered and received this week. There is still one thing that I'm waiting for and it's a jumpsuit that I've ordered possibly for the wedding. It's like, it's like a wide stripe white and don't worry it's not to it's not like bad for the wedding but like white and um blue couldn't speak stripes um and it's kind of like from the back it looks like a two-piece but it's not it's like attached at the front and it's got pockets and it's collots and hopefully i will really like it and it will work if not back to the drawing board i'm still looking for other things just in case but really struggling I really struggle with what to wear for weddings does anyone else struggle for weddings where do you shop for wedding outfits when you've got a wedding where do you go to buy them I really am thinking jumpsuit though for some reason I'm just not feeling a dress this time I want to wear a jumpsuit which is risky because I've never worn a jumpsuit before but whatever we'll see what this one turns up like I feel like that was meant to come in like four to five days this is meant to come in 25 this is going to come now and then that jumpsuit is not going to come till after the wedding because the wedding's like the 16th of June <laughs> that would be typical wouldn't it I checked on watermelon this morning what did you do on your Friday morning yep apparently choking on watermelon is a real thing <laughs> um I'm taking back things that I got from Zara and I was going to do it on my lunch break tomorrow but I've decided that I need to try stuff on to be able to exchange again because I'm not going to exchange for something else try it on when I get home and then have to return it again so I'm going into town now with my mama hello um so I can try stuff on because if you know Zara in Cambridge you know that it is absolutely dreadful for fitting rooms and service and stuff so I need longer than an hour which sounds ridiculous but I do I need longer than an hour to be able to go and Zara, find stuff, try stuff on and buy stuff, annoyingly. So that's what we're gonna go do today. I've got mum to drive because I'm like, I drive into Cambridge every single day of my life. I don't wanna do it today, so I'm not. Also, is it weird that you can see the camera in my glasses? Probably. I love these glasses. I'm going to live in these glasses. It absolutely poured with rain when we got into Cambridge, so we parked over, if you know Cambridge, we parked over at the Grafton side because I wanted to go to Primark, which I did go to. Um, nothing exciting, just some bras. Then decided not to walk over to the other side, so I'm just going to go over tomorrow on my lunch and return the stuff rather than like exchange it. And I'm sure I'll find something else at some point. And now I'm in a really bad mood and I have no reason to be. So I'm just going to put some crap TV on my laptop and chill out, I think. I have a message. I think you'll read it. And charge this because it's flashing. Day three of carbon cocoa and my teeth just look black right now because I've literally just done it and it's so hard to get it out from like in between your teeth. So I've been doing it at, they literally look black. <laughs> um, I've been doing it at night so that I can then brush my teeth again in the morning obviously and whatever's left in there tends to come out like it's not been too bad. But I have started to notice a difference, I'm not going to lie. So, it's only day three, but I haven't been filming it. Oh, it's just started to rain, that's nice. Um, because it's the messiest thing ever. Literally, it gets everywhere. I have to, like, full-on wash the sink when I finished every single time. But, also, my tongue is black there. <laughs> um, but I think it's working, so I think it's going to be worth it. 
But it's nine o'clock now and I've decided to have an early night. The sky looks really pretty. Is it gonna show up on the camera? No. It's like bright pink, it's very pretty. Um, decided to have an early night because of my bad mood. Uh, it's nine o'clock, I'm gonna get into bed and I'm gonna watch Les Mis because it's one of my favorite films. Randomly, it's a really depressing film, but it always cheers me up, so that's what I'm gonna do. And Aurora is already in here to join me as well because she always cheers me up too. Just need to take my face off and then I can get into bed and just chill. Also, I really need some sleep. I had the really good lie on this morning, like I woke up at 10, but I feel like I'm not sleeping properly at night because even if I have that sort of lie in, I still feel like I haven't slept like properly. So yeah, but me and my black teeth <laughs> are gonna go to bed. Still daylight out, like bright outside and I'm going to bed. This is how I live my Friday nights at the moment. It's how exciting my life is. What even is a social life? What even are friends? I have no idea. I just drove home with the roof down, which you can probably tell from my windswept look. <laughs> Such a nice day today. I went for a walk on my lunch out by like, I walked up to the river and then back round and it was really, really nice. I don't know if you remember, but at the beginning of April, I did like an event with Campkins in Cambridge and Olympus Pen and we went for like a walk around Cambridge to take pictures and use the Olympus Pen camera um, So I kind of just did that walk again, but I did it backwards So rather than walking out of town, I walked out of town first and then walked back in. Does that make any sense? Um, but I took some pictures um, But it makes me makes you realize like a way you should really pay attention to where you live because Cambridge is beautiful and I just don't appreciate it enough. Hello. Is that a sausage roll? We keep finding stuff in our hedge and we've just found a sausage roll and there was a football in it a minute ago which is why mum's out there. <laughs> but yeah, you should really pay attention to like where you are and just when you're walking around just like stop and have a look because you take for granted where you live and you really shouldn't. So I'm going to try and do that like a lot more I think and actually like go for pro rather than just walking around town like actually go out and walk around Cambridge a bit more because it is such a beautiful city and especially in this sort of weather it's just beautiful beautiful just got home from work today was a random day because I was off yesterday um off yesterday in today and then I'm off again tomorrow randomly not complaining though it's nice to have a Sunday off but yeah I don't really know what I'm doing tomorrow yet I have plans then I don't have plans they've not been like set in stone I don't think so I don't know yet might be a chilled day, it might not be a chilled day, who knows? No one knows, I do not know. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna eat some dinner I think and then start the edit. Time to sit down and edit the vlog. So I've got a glass of red that I just had with my dinner as well. So I was like, it's Saturday night. I have nothing else to do apart from edit and be lonely. <laughs> so why not enjoy a glass of red wine? So I'm going to enjoy that and I'm going to edit the vlog and I really hope you enjoyed this week's vlog. Thank you so much for watching if you did, thanks for watching to the end if you did. Make sure you subscribe if you aren't already. Leave me a little comment down below, let me know what you've got up to this week. Give the video a like if you liked it and I'll see you next week. I love you.